kids. What about the children? <laughs> Speaking of marriage, <laughs> this one, everybody was waiting Monday morning for Steve Harvey to talk they about talk it on the Steve Harvey all Morning Show. Weekend. Oh, oh we're going to address this. Um, now nah, I didn't know I was going to be part I of the Strawberry my sister, Letter. I said they, ain't gonna, they have control of the narrative on his show. Steve Harvey is only going to tell what he wants people to know, and he's going to put on his little preacher hat and quote scriptures and say, stay out of my business. My wife is beautiful. I love her to death, and she supported me. But what about the other two wives? Right, right, right. But go ahead. All right. Shirley Strawberry. Now, she's one of the people on Steve Harvey's morning, morning show. show. She gives advice yes. to people. Strawberry letter. Remember the song by the Brothers Johnson, Strawberry Letter 22. Her last name is Strawberry, so they thought it'd be cute to do Strawberry Letter. Yeah. So people send her letters or whatever and say, can you give us um, uh, whatever, advice? Advice on my what, husband. What she's like through. Dear Abby. Yeah. My husband and I are going through blah, 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 blah. He brought blah. his mistress into the, to the wed, to the funeral. What do I do? My kids so, is acting crazy. Yeah. yeah. So Steve Harvey Morning Show co-host Shirley Strawberry tearfully apologized to her boss, Steve, and his wife, Marjorie, for dragging them into her husband's drama. And he has a whole laundry list of crazy that this man. What happened was, in. and I believe it was Tasha K. <clears throat> Tasha K. Yeah, released um, phone calls. Apparently, somebody in Fulton County Jail. Because I, I don't know why people think when they call somebody in a jail mm -hmm. that they it's not being recorded. Okay, it's being recorded and it's a tape. Which means somebody could release that tape mm -hmm. on you. Yeah. You're taking a chance. So um, her husband has been alleged to have done everything. I bet you they probably wouldn't have leaked those tapes with her conversation and, until she mentioned Steve Harvey's name. Of course. You mentioned Steve. That's what's going to happen. That's the big boy. That's the big guy. So, so they like, what oh, happened? she said something about Steve Harvey in his mind. Right. So she calls her husband. And again, I told you that, first of all, he's in there for a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. For, um, I don't even know he's if I can say the word, mm -hmm. for assaulting her Violin, daughter, violating, violating the her daughter, daughter a young her daughter, daughter, his stepdaughter, his stepdaughter, mm -hmm. bestiality. Yeah, he has some issues. As a, as a, as a partner, if your and partner then steps out on you with an animal, that makes you go, what? Yeah. <laughs> and then just being a crime person. Yeah, he's very um ethical. He stole, he's stolen. He's done a lot. So apparently she took his side over her daughter's side, yeah. believing him. Yeah. Still holding on to the marriage. This is the same person that gives advice to everybody when they call, when they strawberry send a letter, letter. A strawberry letter. She needs to get rid of that strawberry letter. Or somebody else needs to do it. That's but a blueberry letter now. <laughs> It's not a strawberry anymore. It's a poison berry. It's a, <laughs> that's a good one. That's a poison berry poison letter. Poison berry letter. Yep. Sorry, Cheryl. Shirley's poison berry letter. <laughs> I'm going on record. Going forward, uh -huh. it's now called. We got two things going on here. Uh -huh. We got the Marilago crime family uh -huh. get, uh, given to us by Emra. Uh -huh. The Nora poised the, the, the phrase poison, poison berry, berry letter. <laughs> No longer strawberry letter. There you go. Poison berry it's letter. Poison. Yep. All right. That girl is poison. poison. Never trust a big button to slide. <laughs> <laughs> well, him, bestiality. Yeah. So everything is poison. Okay. That dog is poison. <laughs> <laughs> that donkey's poison. Man, what is wrong with you? That little and kid is friend. poison. And when she was talking on the radio today, giving some explanation and all that, she said, my ex-friend ex -friend. Introduced, introduced her, her. to him. <laughs> okay, so he's in there for everything under the sun. And she's supporting him. Yeah. Calling him on the phone while yeah. he's in prison. Yes, you know, Giving him encouragement. Mm -hmm. You know, you, you're going to make it through. We, yeah. I love you. Hold on, hold on, hold my on, brother. my brother. Mm -hmm. And he's not saying hardly anything. He's just like, he's yeah. talking to her like you've been married to somebody for 20 years. Yeah. And y'all say hi. Those say couples you see at the restaurant, mm -hmm. they don't hardly say nothing to each other. Mm -hmm. That's him. Or the wife's doing all the talking. He's yeah. going, yeah. So then Carver, guess what happened? Yeah. So then Agnes came over yesterday uh -huh, uh -huh. and she gave me an eggplant. Mm -hmm. Now, what do you want something with that, Herbert? Mm -hmm. I know you used to like eggplant, uh -huh. but then I don't know. Agnes has cucumbers too. 
Yeah. You want me to ask Agnes if she has some cute conference no, armor? No, that's okay. So that's his, that's him. Very, but she's very running short her mouth. Comments. Thank you. She's <laughs> running her mouth. So uh, the other thing that happened was, um, yes. Yeah, so I got my car washed yesterday, and um, he's no, in no, prison. No, no, she said her car was stolen. Oh yeah, so my car she was did stolen. Get those updates. They took. They came and took her car. Yeah. Oh wow. So I guess they wow, either because wow. she owe money or something. Yeah. No, him. I guess. Okay. Him. He's a, it's, sca- it's a scandal. Killer. Yes, yeah, you, yeah. sir. Yeah. But we're gonna oh, get yes, through. Is what he calls. Himself. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. Ernest. We're gonna get through this. We're gonna get through this. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. yeah thank babe, you. I, I really babe, appreciate you. That's babe. him. I really appreciate you. Babe. You know, you you are you are wrong. Good. You are a heck of a woman. Thank you. You know. Thank you so thank much. Thank you. Standing by my side. Standing by my side. I'm just paraphrasing. Okay. Thank you so much, honey. All right. Well, let me let you go, Herbert. No, no, no. you got to keep saying what her conversation included. What? Oh, you're right. So anyway, you know what happened? <laughs> the craziest thing happened yesterday, Herbert. Mm-hmm. I went over Steve's Ernest, house. Ernest. Oh, Ernest. I was making up a name. Mm-hmm. Ernest. I went over Steve's house. Mm-hmm. And you know, Marjorie, she can't stand us. She look at us like homeless like people we're, or No, whatever. no, like we're servants. Like we're servants. We're like, I'm just paraphrasing. Mm-hmm. We're nobodies to her. Well, you got to say for real. You that's know, what she well, that is what she said for real. Because she had to come and apologize. So then, you know, she's not there, you know. Mm-hmm. I don't know what's going on with that but <laughs> but anyway trouble in the marriage yeah, but we felt comfortable going over there you know because marjorie's not there uh, you know yeah and um i even was able to walk around the house she i'm has, like to walk on eggshells when marjorie's there, there for a while so either. um you yeah, know okay. i guess steve felt comfortable bringing us in and now that he's by himself or whatever uh-huh. and he's just like yeah and okay. this is last year's conversation yeah, this is prison, what she said. prison talk so um anyway ernest i I know I gotta let you go. I know you got a lot of stuff going on. <laughs> in, in the back of his mind, I, I gotta get on the phone with my mistress. I'm tired. I know of you gotta go. So I'll see you later. And uh, we're praying for you. We're uh-huh. keeping you in prayer. Yeah. And um, yeah, everything is wonderful uh-huh. out here. Debbie sends her love. Debbie That's sends her, her love. I just made that um, yeah, the one that you uh, apparently assaulted. Mm-hmm. But anyway, um, have a great life. Mm-hmm. And we're gonna get you out of here. I no, promise no, but you. babe, babe, remember that they're recording our talk call. I know. I got. It. I, I just know, want you to but surely that. nobody's gonna release this phone call. Oh, it's just okay. me and you. Just so you know. So just okay. okay. All right. So see you later, Ernest. Okay. Next phone call. Ring a ling a ling a ling. Hey, hey, how you doing? Hey, baby, what's up? Oh, I've been missing you, my <laughs> love. I'm so glad you called me. I miss you so much. Oh, you do. Oh, the way you walk and oh, I miss you. Just, just touching you. Did your wife Shirley call yeah, you? Yeah, we talk. She just talk on. <laughs> Always about Steve and what happened to her. But you know what, babe? I can't wait to get out and see you. Oh, okay. All Ooh, right. I miss you, my You love. want me to send you some pictures? Yeah, baby. What send pictures you like? Whatever you got on. I don't have on. I want you. Now, this Negro talking to the mistress, and that's recorded too. How did we all waiting, waiting to hear what Shirley Strawberry going to say now? So now Steve puts out all weekend, he's part of the strawberry ladder because Shirley was running her mouth on the mm-hmm. phone. Stay tuned, y'all. And the, 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 the uh, tapes get released. Stay tuned, y'all. We're going to give y'all an update. We're going to talk to y'all about this phone call and what's going on. And you were right. They said nothing. Nothing. So then loaded with um, commercials, which makes sense. Mm-hmm. I can't make it money. Mm-hmm. I can't hate his hustle. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Steve know how to He's hustle for some money. So they hustled everybody. They sat through. People sat through. I didn't sit through it. I just looked. We read, listened to someone the, else's recording. And skipped through all of the, the um, commercials and stuff. Yeah. But basically, uh, what? how many hours show? And it was, oh, they God. talked for about but 15 so could, minutes. Yeah. A good three, um, four hour show. So but. Steve came out. He said, I guess we're gonna have to address this because it's not rumors anymore. Exactly. You can't you can't say that a, a tape recording from a prison yes. is a rumor an anymore. Actual conversation. So yes. now he has to address it. So now he's say, telling everybody, you know, Shirley, she asked me if she could talk about it. I told her she could. Mm-hmm. So go ahead, Shirley. You go ahead and tell us what you mm-hmm. said. Well, Steve, you know, um, you know, I never wanted this to come out. You know, I never wanted this. I didn't this think to, that they was going to leak this. I didn't think that this call, and I thought I was going to be fired yeah. and all of this other I'm stuff. Sorry, Steve. But I'm really sorry, Steve, sorry. that I hurt you. But, you know, this was last year, and 
we're now going through a divorce now, you know, mm-hmm. which I believe all of everything she said is a lie. I, I think she went, I think she going through a divorce now because we heard that phone call mm-hmm. from his, uh, his mistress. mistress. But here's the thing. She never addressed anything that was that about her taking his side mm-hmm. over her daughter. She never addressed any of the allegations or mm-hmm. is she still sticking by him, even though she's getting divorced from him mm-hmm. or any of that. Um, and Steve decided that he wanted to jump in and say nothing. He didn't address anything. He just wanted to take up for his wife. I'm tired of y'all talking about my wife. Mm-hmm. My wife is a good one. My wife met me when I was broke I and didn't have, have nothing. I said, Steve, you okay. had just did Kings of Comedy. Um, Negro, we knew you. Yo, you wasn't poor. Your first wife, you wasn't nothing. You wasn't poor and living in a car yes. when you met Marjorie. And Marjorie knew who to plant her seed in as far as the, the, the she saw the potential in you, my brother, because the dude that she was married to is in jail. The one that wrote the that book. That wrote the book. That's coming out. You, She knew how to get with him and, and had the money and live the lifestyle that she always wanted then to Then we had to hear a whole thing about how black people on the internet are running with his story. He don't yeah. talk about white people, just black people. Just you know Steve folks. don't never talk about white people because mm-hmm. he's afraid he's going to lose them checks. Mm-hmm. But it's always easy to beat up on black people because yeah. he know we can't do nothing. Y'all just wrong. Can't nobody take nothing from him. Mm-hmm. But he had to go into a whole message about Isaiah and what is for what me. What God has for you, it is for you. And we sitting there going, what does that have to do with the price of tea? Why you had to bring Isaiah scriptures in here and be preacher man right now? We want to hear you guys be transparent. Thank you. Between you and God, that's on you and God. But right now, Cheryl is not being transparent with what's going on. And you're steady, steady building up your wife. We get you love her. Thank you. We get it. She's a beautiful woman for you. Beautiful kids that you became. That's that's yours now. But, but your older kids say they don't even know who you are. Come on now. Harley. I think you guys have planted some seeds and and, and, and bad ones and they're you're reaping it now. Right. So now no, it's great. I'm happy happy if they together which he never said they were or not right, we don't right, know right, right. um but steve you gotta stop preaching to everybody all the time and yeah. always black people yeah you don't never preach to white people they said he was being hypocritical because his show talks about folks too and what they're dealing with and what they're going through thank you so all of a sudden we can't be hypocritical as well but don't be throwing in the scriptures and in, in, in the bible when it has nothing to do with what the topic was because you said we're going to address the conversation that Cheryl had with her husband in prison, with the mistress also talking to him in prison. Yeah. And if there's allegations about you and Marjorie, whatever's going on in your marriage, I get it if you want to be private. Right. We didn't need to be preached to. And I, and I felt he was dogging us out as listeners and preaching to us. Thank you. But go ahead. William says, that's what happens when your life is out in public. Yeah. That's all entertainment purposes only. Just that, just what does that say? Stay tuned and watch something about to get paid. Go for William. Yeah. yeah. Watch the watch them get paid. Yeah. Yeah. That's true. Isn't he's that st- getting paid with all those commercials that came through. So he getting paid. So he did that. So that was the whole thing with the strawberry letter. I'm so sick yeah. of it. Now I agree with you. What is it called again? Poison. Uh, poison bear. Po- poison, poison berry, berry letter. letter. Poison berry letter. I think in my mind, she should not give out advice anymore on yeah, marriage. Sit down. No you know advice we, on give advice on other stuff. Not even parenthood. Cause we, Just give advice on business yeah. or being a successful black yeah. woman. Yeah, do or, your radio. You can continue doing the radio show. Yeah. Because you guys are the Steve Harvey family. We get it. And Steve Harvey, you could give advice on, you know, how to get a check. How to make it in the industry and when, like quit preaching to people. When I dude. tune in, it's so funny. I'm and I'm grateful that he shares his his relationship with God because that's beautiful. That's what we should be doing. That's good. God has done this for me. If you guys let him do this for you, he he'll come through. Right. Let him speak to you. And him. that's fine. And that's beautiful. But when we he, don't need to, you preaching at nobody, telling when, them what's right. wrong. When he and all gives those updates, stuff. that's wonderful. But when I turn on the Steve Harvey morning show on my way wherever I'm going. I want to listen to what your gift is, which is comedy. Yes. I want to hear you guys joke with each other. Be funny. You and nephew Tommy and all yes. the other comedians. I don't want to hear you talk about Isaiah 21 and 9. And how wonderful you That's love your That's beautiful that you're sharing stuff. your testimony, but I don't need you to preach at me. Exactly. I want you to be funny. Thank you. That's why I'm tuning in. Exactly. Go ahead. All right. 
All right, there you go. Okay. Poisonberry um, <laughs> letter. You <Post-po- laughs> didn't rename your, sh- your show, Cheryl. And the Mar-a-Lago crime family. Okay. Okay, real